From comic books to television, motion pictures to action figures, this is the story of my why. This is the story of a collector. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of This Is My Why. This week's special guest is Ninja Spawn by Todd McFarlane on the famous Guinness World Record Breaking Comic Spawn. Hey, it doesn't get much better than that. A little zoomy zoomy, and then maybe even a little more in his face. Let's walk the list your face there, Captain. Now check this out, mates. All right, look at his eyes. Right off the bat, I'm loving his eyes. Those eyes. Tell you what, looking into your soul, we're gonna bring him back here. Bring it back. A little more. Alright, now check these out. We're gonna come back. First off, for those who like the packaging, packaging knocked it out of the park. The artwork matching the three-dimensional sculpt. McFarlane. Boom! Wow, okay. The from the weapons that you're looking at up there. And well, we won't look at the, what I did notice is that they're missing the swords there, okay? And these are teeny swords, they look more like the, the blades. And the spawn is falling, so we'll pick him up. Uh, and then and then again here on the side of the binder. Very well done. And the eyes again, lit up by the neck rope. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful artwork. Makes you not want to toss and turn out of the way to the figure. Now I'm going to talk to you about... Look at that. If anybody can decipher what we have there. You might want to get a good wiggle on there. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes here. We're gonna get him in the green. Look at his eyes. Oh yeah, now it focused. Get that tight blasted sword out of the way. Wow. That's that's just incredible attention to detail. I'm loving how the eyes pop. I don't even take a snapshot out of the caddy, but don't move too much. It is incredible. If you can decipher the writing, go for it. Look at the material on his chest. It looks like it's real cloth. Leather. Okay, straight is popping. Look at his, his little points here. All right, that's cool. A little pokey, not too much. He's not going to hurt you. The scarf. Okay, what's well, picking him up there on his chin? Look at that, just hiding. But it's those eyes. It says that all we need is a, if you think of press buttons, and make that patented, super copyrighted material of Necro light it up. All right, so let's keep on going into his chest. I'm going to move his little. Uh, katana blades there I love the color I was noticing while playing with his um, articulation there in the support joint just lovely waist action if you can do the up crunch there uh, look at his build look at more writing okay I love that attention detail anyone who can decipher that please feel free I'm loving this but I'm telling you one thing I want to say is it looks almost like it's not a blue but it's more of a, a, a link back to uh the, or not like more of a black i was to say it's a blue plastic here all right so it isn't it isn't like a black dark knight spawn uh material but it's more blue so a shout out to back in the day when he had his comic and some of the spawn were blue all right keep moving here the arm gauntlets wow more pokies but the more of the leather underneath underneath there now it doesn't move but you've got the paint for his wrists and the protection of the bandaging on both sides. Beautiful ball joints that you can just pose, twist at your leisure, in addition to the weaponry on his katana. A little bit of paint smear, not a big deal, right? You're gonna play with it, play with it. Now, more attention to detail. Look at his bony fingers. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, wow. All right, good attention to this guy is the living dead. Um, again on this one, bony fingers, which I'm going to make a point here in a second. After looking at the articulation with his biceps here, you can go back and forth, up and down here. Okay, going to the back at bicep triceps, very good attention to the anatomy. Uh, twisty twirly, so you can take out his, yeah, basically he's an assassin, you're going to take him all out. I love the belt buckle. Okay, look at that. Again, what could we do is like push a button or something to make his little eyes light up. That skull, that, that that portrait under there. I want no. I want to do more. It makes me go ooh. Uh, the ninja stars. Let's not forget that. Okay, more ninja weaponry. And there's his backside. Hey, you got to do the anatomy right. So let's take a look at it. There we go. 
That's that's a that's a ninja's arse. All right, okay. More to the other side here. What's holding up his weapons? These cool blades. All right, very sharp, I imagine. I haven't felt them poke me yet, but they're doing good. I'll put your little lighting there so you can see him a little better. Look at that. Little technique learning from the boys up on the programs when we're watching the, the streaming events. Little more paint smear. Maybe a little bit of a Q&A issue here, but not that bad. Okay, we're going to play with them. Now, here's the fun part. Watch this. Coming down to his legs and his knees and his quads, his quadriceps, everything bends so perfectly. Okay, you're not going to have any issues there. Be careful with down here by the ankles. When I was playing with it earlier, I noticed something that seemed to pop a little too much. So pop right back into place, you're good. More pokies, but look at the toes. Wow! Look at his, his toenail. It's amazing the detail. Hey, look at his nail. Look at my nail. That's incredible attention to detail to give this this spawn. And look at that little that little flex joint there. Wow! Just so you can do those those poses, because I tell you what, and it's me and myself posing them out there on the glass display. That was not easy. Okay, but his knee works really well. We're gonna show you go all the way back there. All right, all the way up. Yes, yes he could be kicking in again because he's gonna be kicking someone's nuts. All right, come right back here. Move it forward on the quad. Very good attention to detail. Look at that. Almost as if yeah, he's ready to get me, but he's not. <laughs> He's got the little wipe up there. <laughs> what no reason is throwing that in there, folks? A little lighter band there. And again, look at the boots. Look at that. Look at the straps. Look at the. the it's almost. You think that was actual material. If he were ever to create a version of his spawn figures using cloth. Okay, now this is very flexible. Okay. But cloth goods. I'm talking the ultimate supreme. You know, you've got everyone pouting, touting ultimates and touting builder figures. Well, kickstarters, what you name it, it's time for me foreign to step it up with some, some cloth goods. Supreme! Make the spawn supreme. Alright, that sounds like it would be a lot of fun to go with a playset maybe. Look at that, pegs for our future. You, know, you can make them in. He comes with a little, a little stand for those who have trouble posing without the use of the stand. But of course, then the rest is just all good, clean fun. Alright, without taking out everybody's too much of your time. My wife basically consists of the beautiful attention to detail today. Even on these small little pieces of weapon, which I had to figure this out. Let's take it off. It's a pun. Go and hang back. Uh, these, if you, if you look at the picture on the comic book uh, interpretation, this iteration of course shows those same weapons posed like that. Now initially I might have had them down. Initially I put the, the katanas in there, but this is what served it well. No instructions with these to tell you you can or cannot, but they fit in there. Perfectly snug, and they pop up. Very fun to play with, of course. Very sharp. Ooh, careful. Not horribly sharp. I'm sure if you, you teach your young ones, just, you know, play, 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 they're going to fit. So these are fun. Now, a little bit again. Here's the detail on them. A little bit of paint smear. Oh, well. Something to look at for the future. Uh, more attention to details. The pig there does a fantastic job of holding it in to his backside. His back okay and as we put him back together here that's it it's back to it's simple so the only thing I think I have uh, besides the the paint issue because I can be uh, stick on paint is that I'm looking at what uh, is the uh, interpretation here oh, where are the daggers I have what looks to be katanas in his little hand but uh, no no daggers uh, so straight bottom line up front you've got my why first off picked them up because what well, you're gonna have to sit down again this one looky looky all right this is the last iteration i had of at least when i was a young a wee little one reminded me of the ninja spawn turns out i don't have the original uh but this if you look at his uh his covering there it's got lots of similarities and look at the eyes okay so that's gonna peer into your soul you know it's gonna peer into your memories and that's what peered into this one Okay, I'm not, not no jokes there. Look at that. There we go. Look at those eyes. Those eyes. You hear it in many tales. You always remember that eyes. From the eyes of an assassin. They don't want to look at yours, but you can always, if you get to look at theirs. Oh boy. You'll be intimidated. Okay. With the ancient weapons. Look at those guns. Are, gee, freaking whiz. 
McFarren don't play around. If you get a chance, look at what he's putting on his online store. You can get the weapons pack. Oh boy, but I think I need to have another Supreme Welcome Weapons Pack with a Supreme Fisher figure that is released with cloth goods. Imagine that! A Kickstarter for a Super Supreme Action Figure Ninja Spawn. Legs him light up on the eyes. Again, look at that. Okay, and look at the eyes from the past. Oh boy, where are you at the reflection? I'm loving it. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we have we have a ballpark kit here. All right, let's put that back up there. They usually fit pretty snug. You just gotta be very careful. You're not cutting yourself with a, you know, not really. You're not going to cut yourself. It's just, they feel so authentic. That's the reality I'm getting from this, okay? Beautiful attention to detail to give you that feel that it's going to happen. You're going to have this, this bad boy come to life. Let's bring it up. And one more time. Beautiful, and I love I love that the, the the swivel here, okay, it's got great swivel. You're not gonna break it. Todd McFarlane again, kudos to you for you know all these years later bringing forth these figures for the fans, and letting us have exactly what makes it articulated. All the naysayers in the past, oh it doesn't move, it won't it's a statue. It's like, all right, that's fine. You know, attention to detail even back then. If you look at this, oh and by the way, his neck. All this right here. Ball joint does a fantastic job moving around. Okay. Not because of the scarf. You're not going to get past that point. But you do get a very good. Look at that. Look at that. Again, the profile. Gee whiz. I love it. I'd like to dress up like this guy. So, heck. Spawn uh, McFarlane in that sense. Maybe some costumes. Because, you know, of course, cosplayers. You can, you can just make yourself one. You make a lot of good kicks on making a, making a custom one there. And it light up those eyes okay oh ladies and gentlemen ninja spawn just out of the package uh this is my perfect 10 right here i'm loving it necro spawn um action in the eyes the only thing maybe even to add on to that besides is give me some more necro oh and it'd be in the eyes i don't need to spruce around here i don't need it to, to be any extras on the daggers so for my why let me tell you Ladies and gentlemen, attention to detail in the outfit. Looking like cloth, it isn't, but it's wow, banging, popping out of the park. Next thing, his eyes. I won't get away from that. Ooh, sold it for me. Again, even with a symbol, if you want to go back. Look at that. Just beautiful attention to detail. All right. So, lastly, it is a nostalgic piece because I can look to the past and say, wow. You know, that I couldn't get the original one, but this is me getting backward. Forward to go backward, shall we say? Are you going to stand there? Are you going to stand? And just giving me a new product that is beautifully articulated, highly detailed, and just incredible, even on the side here. Okay, let me simply pose them a little bit with the Ninja Stars. All right. Pull them back for you one more time, folks. Thank you very much. Again. McFarlane, you hit a 10, perfect 10 with this one. This is my why. Comment, like, subscribe, folks. And if you have any suggestions, we're going to have a really good show coming up. Got a super surprise for you. Might be related to some recent events that you've been seeing in the media. Just keep your eyes peeled for those hints. This is my why. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care.